What is going on, guys? We are back with week 16 in our Niners franchise. Almost the playoffs. Almost the end. Almost the end. But we are facing against the Broncos. You guys can see the biggest of things today besides my personal uh, hope that uh, this breakout happens. The, the breakout. What? <laughs> That's it. QT has a chance to become an X Factor. He needs four touchdowns or. 200 yards rushing slash receiving. This team is insane. And I don't care if I made a freaking like goal of, you know, a thousand likes or even 2,000 likes and you guys hit that. We have to end it. We have to end the series. We have dominated way too freaking hard. And the story needs to come to an end. We have our relocation franchise. We, of course, have the Titans, which. You know, no matter how good our team gets, other teams are getting just as good as ours and their users. So that, I feel like, it, you know, it always has a place no matter how many seasons we go in. Uh, Sean Pierce recently in X Factor, which is nice. Buckner also kind of recently in X Factor, which is, uh, you know, once again, nice. Maybe leave a like and subscribe if, if, you, if you like and you want to subscribe. I don't know. I, I'm sorry. I, I didn't have anything clever to think of today. Also, if you couldn't tell, this is, well, maybe you could tell, but this is actually recorded a couple of days ago, technically. This is a voiceover part, just for a moment. But uh, I appreciate everyone's, you know, well wishes and prayers uh, from the community post. Of course, my grandpa, I mentioned, uh, did pass yesterday. And honestly, you know, a week and a half ago is when I was hit the most by it. As I pretty much accepted at that point that that was, you know, what was going to happen happened. And really now I'm more happy than I was then because now I know that he is at peace. So I appreciate everyone worrying about me and, you know, thinking of the family. And, uh, you know, it'll still take some time. But, yeah, I I'm, I'm think I'm doing pretty fine. I think I've made peace with it. And overall, once again, thanks, everyone. And uh, and I know a bunch of you guys are probably going to say, you know, have comments, you know, saying nice things as well. And I really appreciate you guys, too. So uh, thanks a ton. And uh, hopefully this didn't bring the mood down too much for the video. But anyways, uh, you know, I'll talk to you guys in the, the comments section a little bit from now as well. So thanks, everyone. And yeah, enjoy. Got a few uh, upgrades. Mike McGlinchey. I was thinking... Uh, well, first, he's, he's not even a superstar. Second, I was thinking, oh, he can get a second ability, but he's not even close to 90 uh, overall. He's like an 88 now after the upgrade that he will not be getting. Oh, that was actually not bad, though. He will not be getting anytime soon. And these guys I really don't care about, but I guess I'll upgrade him. A nighttime game versus Denver. Who who the hell do they think they are? Denver is not even good. I'm, I'm sorry, Denver fans, but you, you know. Hopefully you guys do better than what your your team's doing in this this universe, cause uh, it's whew, it's not a good uh, look. It's it's yeah. It's well then again I haven't really paid attention. Maybe they've been in the playoffs. Obviously we only see uh, you know the AFC success when we play one of the teams or we play them in the Super Bowl. So you can't really tell. You know we don't play them all the time. So and it, you get the point. I'm saying the same thing in different ways. I'm like a terrible music artist. There's Mr. QT himself. What a QT. I'm sorry. That's, uh, yeah. That, forgive me. If you look at the numbers last week, great numbers, right? Six for 105, one touchdown. But we need to double that this week if we want to get that scenario. It's going to be a reach. I'm not too pressured on it. You know, X Factor is nice and all, but... He's still a great player, whether he's X Factor or Superstar. So we'll look for it. But if it's not there, it's not there. Especially with Roberts, who averages 200 yards per game. So basically, every throw is going to need to go to him. <laughs> yeah, this is uh, the odds of this are not looking great. Especially with Ross trying to take it all the way to the freaking 35. Trying. I said trying. It didn't. Packers at 8 and 8, just about. That's uh, perfect. You know, why would you want to make the playoffs and why would you want a good draft pick? 29 touchdowns, 15 picks, just under 4,000 yards. He should be able to hit 4,000. He'd have to have monster games to be able to get to 40 touchdowns, but he does have over that or very close to that total. So it's, you know, it is what it is. Uh, I would like to run the ball here, but I don't, <laughs> I don't think that's going to happen. Inside, perfect throw, and Kittle has got to find a new team. What? 
All right, Matthew Brita on the inside. Uh, okay, so gain of two, nice. Let's take a look at the defense. I've already seen a few new names, one of them being Eric Kendricks. Uh, Sean, I thought that was the freaking linebacker. I was like, hey, maybe he'll be more healthy there. Solomon Thomas. Chubb and Vaughn, they still have. Middle linebacker never decided to improve that position, even though they should have. And then corners are looking brutal, especially with one of them being a freaking DT, apparently. QT on the wheel route. Uh, inside, Petrowski would be nice. Same as Kittle. If we can get a little bit of time here. And is that good? That is very close. It's going to be a punt, but that was a very good throw. Like, I mean, not very good, because obviously you kind of have to com complete the pass for it to be good. Kind of. Well, in this scenario, you do. Punt is up, and it's pretty decent. I said up like it was a field goal, but it, you know, you know, it, it still goes up, kinda. When you're when you're an elderly man and you've uh, erectile dysfunction. Damn, Drew Locke. Okay, 22 touchdowns, six picks, 3,444 yards. Maybe they run the ball a lot. I don't know. I would say they probably do, right? I mean, I would with Drew Locke. Q I'm sorry. Uh, Philip Lindsay still around. I would say he's probably about 30 by now, right? Maybe even exactly 30. And Fred's going to get a coverage sack. Somebody break in. There you go, like a robber. Let's take a look at that offense for Denver. Of course, both teams wearing special uniforms. Color rush today. Center's great. Tackles are pretty solid. Guards aren't terrible. And then receivers. David Moore is not a good number two. Uh, I don't know how Noah Fant would have uh, progressed, so I have no clue. And everyone on our team is an X Factor or a superstar. Oh, what a play by Cortland Sutton. Super great uh, ability to adjust to that ball. I thought somebody was going to come in there, but everyone was locked up and looking away. Take a another look at this one. Yeah, that was great. Trey Flowers just barely missed it. White, I think, got beat a little bit off the line, so he was... No, he was on it. He just kind of got bodied up by that big frame. Maybe a little risky to come with the blitz here, but I feel good about it. We're going to we're gonna drop Morrow, actually. It's not a great blitzer, so... Good decision, though. He's going to break the tackle, unfortunately. Good tackle by Nick Bosa. He's gonna come with the blitz. It's been a it's been a minute. It's been a minute since we blitzed. Probably actually like literally a minute. Ooh, that's a bad play by them. Super delayed. I don't know if that was a read option. What the hell that was? Whatever it was was not a good decision. I don't I don't know how good you think your offensive line is, but he must have high high aspirations for their abilities. Cause Jesus, that's that's a rough one. And Fred should have had a pick. That would have been one hell of a start to the game. A sack and a pick, but going to go over the middle for a first down. And that's really bad. We should have easily had a hand on that. He just lets it go right over his head. And they're going to run the ball again. They're being predictable, but I mean, hell, on this one it works. Sony Michelle for a gain of about six or seven. To the inside. Oh, my God. What a throw. First and ten. Drew Locke's kind of dotting. Moore's like, I'm not a good option. Number two. Okay. Please don't. Please don't. Of all the people, just don't let it be him. Wow, they are, they're doing well. That's about nine yards there. Come with a uh, DB blitz here. Well, kind of more than DBs, a lot of people. Oh, my God. He holds on to that. Fant down to the one. Really? Good drive. I mean, they stopped us on offense. And on. I promise you, I'm not pulling any punches right now. We just, you know, missed the throw by an inch on offense. And then right now, they're just... They're killing it. They're killing it. And you might say, why would he pull punches? Well, for one, like, we win all the time. And two, let's just say if we lose this game, next week's game, assuming the Seahawks win this week, would be for the division, I think. I don't know if it's actually for the division or not. Oh, jeez. I don't know if it's for the division or not because we might already have the tiebreaker anyways. Inside. I mean, there really isn't anywhere to go on that play. Last second, found Pettis. I mean, that's a close call. Wait, does it show? Oh, that's cool. Why didn't anyone tell me this? Does it show you what ability, like, is strong suit for them? That's a great throw, and Petrowski's going to get it all the way down to the 31. All right, we need that blocker. Oh my god, Kittle almost caught the damn ball. It was so well he he's, he's pretty trash to be honest, so maybe not almost, but you know, kinda. We can slant QT, draw everyone out. Gonna have to find that little window. 
There's the window, but damn, Eric Kendricks, he's always, always played good against us. Can I bring Brita to the other side? Brita, Brita, get the hell over there. Okay, that's not what I had in mind. However, hear me out. Looks kind of decent. Brita's too fast. <laughs> he's too damn fast with a 17. That worked out really well. We might need to start doing that more. You know, it's only like four years into the, the franchise, and we're just now thinking maybe motioning our running back out would be a good idea. Okay. Okay, indeed. Ooh, this could go. Oh, I like this. There you go. Is that not a touchdown, really? I guess I'm all right with it because, you know, maybe we can force it to uh, Q. I mean, not force it to QT, just... If he's open, he's open. That is a dot. That is the hottest of dots all season long. Wow. Look at that window. All right, let's take a look at Drew Locksmith. I don't That wasn't really clever at all. I thought it was going to be, but it really wasn't. And wow, Quan almost turned Sony Michelle into a freaking vegetable. I don't like vegetables. Not the, like, people, but, like, the food. And I don't eat people out oh my that is a very good throw really good recovery by derwin david stop david moore you're like 15 speed pal this has got to be a run we're not going to commit to it we're going to bring some people down exactly don't get oh derwin picked that off great coverage quan alexander we really should have changed it it to fred quan jesus if we didn't help that's a first down. Maybe even a touchdown because you just don't know. That is up and not even close. Who is their kicker? Is it Morton Anderson? Like today. If you didn't know, that's like an, that's an old kicker. I don't even know. Is he still alive? Probably. Somebody do an open. Oh my. Somebody do a good throw. Okay, Roberts. Here, Here's the situation. Stop playing like trash. Got it? Okay, we're good. We're, we're fine. We haven't double teamed anyone, which is impressive. That is a good throw. QT down to about the 18. He's open again. Down to the four. What's the ability? Like, why is he why are they so good at this route? Ooh, almost picked. That was ambitious. I will admit that was the most ambitious one so far. Uh, we might have the play action. I think uh, we might have the fullback here. Or Kittle. There you go. He caught the ball. Wow. All right, fellas. Let's win a fr uh Oh, that's not good. Thanks, Michelle. I really wasn't looking forward to having to tackle you potentially on the yard marker. So thanks for helping us out there. Carson look a little chunky, though. A big Ben punt in the ball there. What the hell? Pretty good punt down to the... Eh, maybe not pretty good, but okay punt. As far as AI punts go. Maybe not, but Pettis is. Really good throw. Perfect catch down to the 42. Go back to the stretch. Maybe actually give it to Breida for once. I don't know. Maybe. Breida's had a great season, though, so what is he worried about? Maybe should have just went for the first. Because, you know, he had the speed to easily get there. And I'm talking easy, like your mama's cooking of cookies. I don't know. Gain of nothing there. We definitely, the one guy we definitely neglected this season, and there's no question about it, is uh, Mr. Derrick Henry. They're going to leave QT open on the out there. He's going to jump that so hard. Great play. Great adjustment. You know, they're playing off about, what, 10 to 15 yards there? Oh, he's not a first down. That's all right. No, it's not. No, it's not. Oh, my God. They came with the blitz. I don't know why. Oh, they played that so well. How is that not a first down? I really should have, like, chilled out what you yelling for and just, like, challenge potentially. Oh, there's no one you get in pressure. And there goes White with the pick. I don't understand, okay? Great pick there. Just ran that down. Eighth of the season. Okay. Talk about a good year. Tire. Oh, they got their their coverage or their pass rushing linebacker standing up. Well, I guess it doesn't matter anyways. Damn, our run game has gone just about nowhere. All right, Brita. If we're going to have you coming out of a block anyways, might as well just freaking do it. There you go. Inside. Try to make a juke move just so we don't get hit-sticked. Thankfully, it was Jewel. I don't know what the hell this is. 
Like, the depth looks awesome, but I don't see that getting open. It was actually kind of open. The free safety was covering it. I think we would have gotten picked there, but as far as per... I don't know why I just yelled. As far as, you know, one-on-ones go, though, that was pretty decent. I think we're going to trick them here because I feel like they're going to think, oh, Henry's blocking. Yeah, I think we're thinking this too hard here. This is, we should block the big guy, <laughs> simply put. I don't like it. There you go. Dropping the ball. Damn it. Good play by Roberts. Good play. Good block as well. Everyone did well there except for QT. But it happens. Happens to be the final time I throw to him after this game. What? Uh oh. Somebody go up. Oh, that was a good 50 50 ball. I was hoping he would have actually went up the field. He kind of like slanted down like to the side. Like you wouldn't even have gotten the first down there, anyways. I right, wish Nowski. Not a bad punt the first time. Let's see if we can improve though. And we appear two by quite a bit because that's down to the two. Fellas, you want to get down in here? Thank you. Damn, he was, he had the intent to kill. Did you see him lower that shoulder? Damn, Royce. Not going to blitz this time. Although we should have. Fellas, come on, help him. Oh, that's so good for him. There's a flag. Is that a face mask? Well, that's not good. What do you do? And that's qu What? We didn't even get the tackle, I don't think. After further review, we did. <laughs> we got the tackle. <laughs> Damn it. Bosa. Okay, dude. How in the world is Sutton this good of a player? To the outside, and White really should have had that. He should have undercut that for a pick six. He has been really locked down, and he's played all over the place. Ooh, I mean, he's he's all over. Like, he was covering the deep a little bit there, you know, passed him off. And uh, he was in range to potentially get a hand on that one, too. And there's been some drop picks on the season. Oh, Pierce. Thankfully, the throw is a little out there because you, you, uh, you misread that one a bit there, pal. They would have hit the other field goal. This would have been a one-point game. Or not. Jesus, who is this kicker? He's so bad. Oh, it's Robbie Gold. Sorry, pal. All right, so 108 with three timeouts. You know that is a lot of time for us, especially when you have QT burning on those ins, those deep ins. I don't even know if that's what the route's called, but that's what I just called it, so that's what we now refer to those as. Kittle to the outside. They are just getting gashed there. I mean, that's 200 yards and a half for Roberts. Okay. We might have a deep shot here. We do. QT holds on to the six. There you go. That was a great decision to block everyone because I think they even came with an extra player. And if they didn't, false alarm, I'm lying. Let's see. I haven't really run this play, but let's see. We ran the other way of it. There you go. That worked perfectly. Who the hell was that blocking? Dan, it might have actually been QT. QT and Kittle, maybe. You could not ask for a better drive. Like, that was... I'm not, I'm telling you, I'm not pulling any punches. They literally, I don't know if it was just because I kind of was playing fearlessly, but they just gave it up. You know, they just gave up the poon. And yes, I sounded very white saying that. Okay, I'm sorry. Are they going to hike it? Why would you even hike it? If you're not even, what? Oh. Um, excuse me. Who? Who is he? Kemp. Isn't that like an ice cream? Ice cream company? Oh, damn. We actually really did need that drive. We were only going to be up by four against the Broncos at half with their ball. Okay, dude. Offense has played pretty well. The passing game has been solid, and Roberts has made some decent throws. Of course, he's missed some really bad ones and a couple of close ones, but for the most part, he's had a great game. It's just not the type of game it's been. Of course, they've got two insane pass rushers. Damn it. Really was hoping that uh, Quan or who was it? Fred? Would have helped. We're just going to bring Fred off the edge. Fred? Why doesn't he keep that outside? And then he starts jogging, and then he fumbles the ball. Is that actually a fumble? Okay, they're not going to show the whole play, but what in the world? Like, what did I watch on that play? Who's on the outside there? Flowers. I like uh, White playing the position he is. And he plays slot corner every once in a while. Well, actually, probably about a good 40% of the plays, maybe even more. But he's also on the edge making plays as well. Okay, maybe it's more than 40%, but still. 
And there's a pick for Josh Jackson, who usually doesn't get a chance. Gets it there and takes it away. Third of the season. He was gunning for that ball. He came hot fast. I saved it. Damn it, Brita. No chance at all today. Five for ten. It's a decent deal for, you know, whatever, but still. Not in this situation. I'm not happy with that. This isn't going to work, but we'll try it anyways. Is waiting for it, like, the move. Okay, Vaughn, if you would have, like, not done that, that would have been awesome. We don't, like, we don't do anything, but we waited and it worked. There you go, Brita. Finally. Let's hurry up to the line. I actually kind of like the audible there. Well, they're going to keep, I'm going to actually keep there because I think QT scored. It's a really good freaking catch. Chan Holy crap. That is the second best throw. That, no, that's the best throw of the season. That's insane. I got to see this again. I'm really hoping he kept his feet in because that is... I was going to say that's really good coverage because he... I mean, that's great coverage. But look at this. Is they're going to count that right foot. That's in. Wow. There's honestly just nothing the, the, the Broncos could do. I know they haven't played perfect coverage by any means, but... I mean, that was about as perfect of coverage you can get. Oh, we missed a hit stick. That could have ended his career. So, honestly, I'm kind of glad we missed it. I really don't feel like ending anyone's career today. There you go. You know, Kittle dropped one that should have been caught to the outside. Fred and company. We had the outside with Pierce. Cut it back inside. That was great defense. Yeah, we're starting to clamp. Uh oh. <laughs> He's like, oh, what's this? Oh, football? Okay. Inside zone, Mr. Breida. Oh, we got some room. Okay, uh, Pettis. Yeah, don't block, sorry. I really would have thought this is like a power play, no? Got a bunch of tight ends. I know there's no lead block. Try to get in there. Oh, come on, Breida. Accelerate to that hole. I doubt they're going to leave QT one-on-one -on -one ever again. Oh, my God, Petrowski. How are we catching these? I get we have great receivers, and their corners aren't great, and that probably plays a huge factor. I don't know why I'm still talking about it. But still, these are really good plays. The fullback blocking. Yeah, I figured I was mm, – I, sh I should have stepped up sooner, or left at least. But I can't be mad. This, uh, this offensive line has been really good. Uh-oh. That should have been picked. That's a really, really good route. Just it takes a long time. And the line gave it to us. Pettis could be open. Pettis. Oh, he's wide open. Is that overthrown? It's perfectly thrown. And that is touchdown number five for Roberts. Maybe he can get 40 passing touchdowns. I don't know. If he can get a sixth here, he needs five next week in a game that, you know, we would want to send the Seahawks down the rankings if we can. You know, it's not a game that we guarantee to bench anyone, you know. QT's had a great game, but he's still off on his X-Factor ability. He needs about 50 more yards. So, with three minutes remaining, it's it's looking good. It's looking good. Pierce, thank you. I don't know what that read is by Drew. I think Drew's had a great game. I just think uh, his, the rest of his team's kind of letting him down, not really getting too many separation plays from the receivers. So the out route look again. I think last time we ran it, we just got completely locked up. He's open. Oh, he drops that? Really? Going to be a tough one, but if we can get the... Nope, we're going straight up the gut. I was going to take it outside, but no, we went right down broad Broadway, uh, Main Street. Well, are we going to be able to catch them off guard again? We will. I don't know why they're playing. I get they're playing off because QT's a burner. But still, they did not. Oh, my God. Perfect route. Unfortunately, a missed throw. That is a perfect route. Get up, Petrowski. Inside QT. Slips it to the nine-yard line. I can't believe how bad of a route that was by Petrowski, though. Kind of like QT's chances of scoring right in between there. There it is. Number six for Roberts. We putting on a show now, boys. Roberts is playing out of his mind right now. By far his best game of his career. Really good job. I mean, the whole team is, really. You know, they play too predictably. There you go. I mean, that's closing speed. They're going to say it's a fumble. I don't think it was. 
What? Derwin! What is he doing there? <laughs> oh, my Lord. That's a 70-yard touchdown for David Moore. Okay, fellas. Really? Really? I suppose technically there's a whole quarter to play now. So with Derwin doing that, Roberts gets to stay in. You know, the running back run, a wide receiver run. It's not a running back. Does not fumble, which is nice. And that, oh, that's a 17-yard run. I didn't think about it, but that actually, that, that counts towards the thingy. I like when they leave it down the middle. Never mind. Kittle is wide up. You can't drop that ball. I mean, you could if you're Kittle, but, you know, hopefully he doesn't, and he didn't. Do you give QT another touchdown just for good measure? little double move on the inside there. Could run it with Roberts, too, though. Oh, oh, he, oh, GG. Yeah, we can take our guys out. I literally actually simmed it one extra time, and Troy Apke picks it off. And of course, we know Tannehill is a solid number two, right? But Mr. Samuel Walls has been on the roster as well. Let's give him a chance. You know, why not? Of course, we're going to be giving the ball to Henry more than, you know, throwing the ball, but still. Very uh, interesting what this guy can do. Interested indeed. What's his first career touchdown pass? I don't know if we can do that, but we'll try. Good fight by Henry. Gets about three. All right, here you go, Walls. Of course, he has a limited uh, amount of staff members. We do, well, maybe limited, but a little bit less limited. He's open. Kittle down to the one. All right. Of course, Breida sneaks in. I kind of want to get the first touchdown for this guy. If they're going to leave it this open, I'll take it any day of the week. Oh, just not going to throw it? All right. Really, only five sacks on the season for Chubb, and that one was, like, not even earned. Oh, there you go, big boy. Big boy Henry with the touchdown. Are they going to actually, like, try to close the game out instead of, you know, giving us more touchdowns, please? Guys, just convert. Like, I like free scoring as much as anyone, and we won't score another time this game unless we get a punt return touchdown. But still, good play. 56-7. to 7. I mean, this game looked like it was going to be a freaking, you know, fight all the way through. Next week isn't going to matter as much for us, but it means something to the Seahawks. For them to potentially, you know, avoid number six seed playing the best team, which would be us, you know, obviously at some point. And there, oh, what a throw. Jesus. Yeah, it means a lot. And I don't want to really play the Seahawks, you know, in the playoffs in a more meaningful game anyway. So, yeah, next week we'll, we'll be cautious. Obviously, we're not going to play them all the way through, but we got to do what we can to win as well. Huge hit. Josh Jackson. Wow. Great recovery by uh, Sony Michelle, but Jesus, what a hit. Yeah, QT, even without that touchdown, would have had it, but he literally got it in, like, every way possible. Quan has the pick, and ooh, that's why you do not return the pick when you don't need to. That could have been disastrous. Did you see his freaking knee? Speaking of fast, let's see Walls. Not super fast, but once again, looks like a freaking wide receiver. Oh, this is not good look for them. Yeah, we need to run that play more because that is just, like, even when they do actually have it covered, it still doesn't look very good for them. They could blow this up, but they will not. Henry will gain about seven, and we'll win the game. We're going to give Walls one throw. I don't think we're going to go for, like, a jump ball because that just puts people at risk, but let's see. Drive wheel, eh, it's not a bad play. It's not terrible. But, yeah, them, uh, them dropping their pass rushers in coverage too often is what will really hurt them as well. Look at Brita. <laughs> Look at Brita. Good throw by Walls. You know, it's not a hard throw to make. It's kind of short, but still. It, you know, it's a throw that Roberts, Roberts missed quite a bit this season. And, of course, a monster game from the offense. Everyone pretty much had a, had a solid day. And, obviously, what a terrible screenshot. At least catch it when he, you know, actually caught the ball. But, again, another one. Just it's QT had a very big game. And like I said before, the uh, that last touchdown, he had it anyways because of the run. We have massive four touchdown, over 200 yards receiving, 17 rushing yard game. Had it in pretty much every conceivable way outside of, you know, 200 rushing yards, 200 receiving. And of course, Roberts had a god tier seven touchdown game. That last second touchdown that Derwin gave up, I suppose allowed us to realistically keep Roberts in for one final drive to ensure that there was no comeback chance. And Roberts, I think, has solidified that MVP spot. 
you know, before he was kind of teetering a bit, but with the rushing yards and the passing, oh my god, and the passing game, he's, uh, I think he's probably locked it up as long as he doesn't have a terrible game next week, which very well could happen. Quan with two tackles were lost, 16 total tackles and a pick. Pierce with a pick, Shoyapke with a pick, Kevin White with a pick, Quan and Josh Jackson with one. Sack totals, we didn't really feel like we had a lot of pressure. D Ford and Fred Warner, and I think D Ford might have been a sim one. But yeah, just a monster game. Massive, massive game. And let's see what ability Mr. QT gets. I'm thinking, how tall is he? If he's under six foot, I think he's going to get mossed. I really think so. It's always the short guys that get mossed for whatever reason. I don't know why. Let's take a look. What did I tell you, coach? Nobody in this league can do things that I do, and I made it clear today. And he's now an X Factor. I don't know why it doesn't show the red X Factor. It just says Superstar X Factor, and it shows the Superstar logo. But here he is. Kiki QT, and he did get rack him up, which is meh. It's a meh. Rack receivers fight for every possible yard. I will say it's a meh. However, uh, we will be replacing Kittle's rack him up with Kiki QT because Kittle just is not that guy anymore, it seems. We've got some upgrades, but we'll save that for next week. We will advance the week. There is a chance that we could have another X Factor upgrade. I don't know who it would be, but week 16, week 17 is usually when you get those those X Factor scenarios, so we could get another one here, but let's go to the Seahawks, see if we have one, which I doubt. Rest or start, I don't care. Seattle does win. The Rams are kind of making a push here themselves, though, and the Raiders are relocating, which is interesting. Uh, the Rams have a chance, do they? Uh, so everyone's got a playoff spot. However, Cowboys and Rams, I don't know who each team play, plays, but the Cowboys losing... Gives the Rams a shot to actually make it. Of course, Panthers and Packers do have a chance themselves as if both of these teams lose, they might have a tiebreaker situation, which, ooh, this is, now nah, the Cowboys won. That is unfortunate for the Rams. They lost just one too many games because the Cowboys have the most divisional wins. So no matter what happens with the Rams, I believe the Cowboys are in player of the week. I don't know if it's obviously Roberts, but it should be, and it is. That's a huge one because he's going to get a lot of XP for that. Might even have two upgrades. But yeah, we have some scenarios to look at next week. Don't know what the hell we're going to do about it. Are we going to actually rest some players? I don't know. Robert's looking decent. If we can get that medium and short, maybe a bump to one or two right before the playoffs, might be able to actually win it back to back. I don't know. Obviously, so much talent now with QT as an X Factor. And that's pretty much that. Hopefully you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, maybe you leave a like. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. Follow me on Twitter, Journal P. Care. And I think today we will have, I don't know, something on the second channel maybe. If I, <laughs> obviously like some of these are pre-recorded. So, uh, you know, it depends because obviously I might say, oh yeah, I want to do one today. And then real life me is like, what do you mean? I don't remember saying that. <laughs> but yeah, anyways, hope you guys come back for next video. But until next video...